Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Maya. And you guys, today we are gonna go all in. We're gonna go all in together on what you are desiring out of your life. And this requires action. This requires pushing past old limiting beliefs that are keeping you captive in a reality, in a mind, even in a body that perhaps is outdated. And I wanna assist you guys within this because you guys have purpose. I know you guys have something that you are desiring, that your soul is here to fulfill. And we have to allow our soul to fulfill this by us getting out of our own way. Because that's what it is, you guys. We get in our own way of so many blessings because we're safe within the fear. Fear has controlled us perhaps maybe for far too long. And I'm touching on this today because it's so important. I had to go all in. I'm still going all in on myself, y'all. No one actually gives a shit about your success. No one gives a shit. So if you're holding yourself back because you're scared of what other people may think of you when you're just being yourself, well, you're doing a really big disservice to yourself and also to the people that are waiting for your own gift. Listen, I spent years not believing in myself. I spent years identifying to a version of myself that was keeping me depleted, diminished, scared, insecure, feeling unworthy. And I had to get to a point in my life where uh, I got cracked open. And at that point, I had to make the choice. Do I continue to settle in my life? Settle for the shit that I'm signing up for? My signature's on that page signing me up for what? To feel like shit? To feel insecure? Uh-uh. Nope. Uh, you know, and I had to go through that patterning for quite some time until I realized and I had to actually face myself. Face myself. I had to face the shit I was believing. And is it scary? Hell yes, it's scary. Let me be honest, you guys. Going all in on who you are and who you know to be in truth is one of the scariest things that we as human beings can do because we're so programmed to fit a, a certain mold that society wants us to. We're so used to diminishing our own light and putting other people above ourselves just in order to, you know, not feel judged. And feeling judged is a normal part of life. Everyone has the right to think anything they want of you. And it has nothing to do with you as a person. It has everything to do with their own belief systems, their own perception of their reality. And where we fall short is we forget that we are our own character in this movie called life. And what we do is we discount our role here on earth. And we just allow other people to dictate our role in our movie, in our narrative. And we don't like it. We don't like playing in it every day. I don't know. I don't know where you guys are at right now in your life, but I know there's probably something in your heart that's calling you. And maybe it's been calling you. And maybe you're uncomfortable actually picking up that, that phone call that your higher self's making to you saying, it's time, baby. It's time. Yeah, you're going to feel some fear. Yeah, it's not going to feel comfortable in the body, but that's how growth happens. Growth doesn't happen when you sit back and do mudras all day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Asking the universe to just deliver it. No, we live in a physical world. It requires physical action. It requires you getting off your ass every day and doing something that makes you scared. And when you can actually overcome that, the amount of confidence you build is profound. I'm going to go back to the beginning, you guys, and I've touched on my story a little bit, but I got to a point in my life last year where I was living inauthentically. I didn't like myself, although I portrayed that I loved myself on Instagram by showcasing my body. We know the deal. Um, and it was a lie. It was a lie. I was lying to myself uh, because I needed other people's validation because I couldn't access my own because I couldn't access my own truth. So why the hell would I be even able to validate myself back then? So my soul wouldn't let me. Why would my soul validate a human being that was not in alignment to my greater good? Would not make sense. So no wonder I was feeling uh, diminished because my soul wasn't participating in my weakness. My soul knew I'm here for a greater reason. So... 
thank God, me and my my higher mind, we we worked in tandem when I was brought to my knees and I knew that this was the turning point of my life. And that's when I made my commitment to go all in on myself. And that was August 17th, 2023. And since then, you guys, you know what I've done? I've made a YouTube video every single day since August 17th. I've only missed one upload because of a technical difficulty. Only one. But I am still going strong. And I won't stop. <laughs> I won't stop. You know the power that comes from that? Of actually feeling confident in your word, in your commitments, being able to trust yourself? I don't give a shit what anyone thinks of me. I really don't. I build confidence by overcoming constantly my self-depleting programs, by me becoming the master of my mind. I have every single capability to live out the life I am deserving of. And that comes from me living in my purpose. And do I need to figure it out all out at once? Nope. But I do got to take step by step by step without even needing to see where it's going to be taking me. I know I'm destined for success. I know I'm here to shine my light. And that's why I show up every day talking to you guys, telling you, you can do the same thing when you push past your thoughts that are attached to the past that are just scared because of another person's perception of you. And you do not need to hold another perception as true if you do not believe in it but you believe in it why are you believing in what other people think of you well it's because you haven't solidified a true self-concept that when another person makes a judgment if it's not in, in alignment to who you know to be why would you absorb that as truth People can think whatever they want of me right now. I'm manipulative. I have a hidden agenda. Ooh, yada, yada, yada. Okay? They are valid. That's their perception and their own reality of me. That's the character that they're putting me as in their movie. That's fine. I'm not going to uh, break a sweat or uh, cry over if someone makes me out to be someone I'm not. Because I know. Maya is fire, okay? Maya's got that fire, actually. Maya has awakened her kundalini to make me see past the illusions of a society that wants me to be small, wants me to be controlled by other people's perceptions, judgments. Mm, and that's never going to happen again because I've lived that for far too long and I'm a dangerous woman. I'm a dangerous woman because guess what? I don't care what comes my way. I know I have the capability to rise from my own ashes as a phoenix, which I'm doing and which I will always do for myself. I don't care what comes my way, you guys. I don't care. If I have to face the the fear, the, the insecurities, the old programming that comes up. I say, bring it on. Bring it on. That's how I build my stamina in order to propel me forward. Not by allowing that to make me into a person. I'm not. I'm aligned to God. I'm aligned to my higher mind. That's why I come on YouTube every day, you guys, and speak my truth to solidify my own self-concept of me being a full-time YouTuber, of me being in my purpose work. I live, I breathe, I practice who I am every day. And she's glorious. I'm glorious because I'm her. So who are you guys? What are you wanting out of your life? Are you really going to allow old programming to keep you back? And for the rest of your life. And then you're going to be on your deathbed saying, wow, what a missed opportunity. What a missed opportunity. Don't be a dipshit. Don't be a dipshit. Don't dip yourself in shittiness every day. That ain't fun. That is not fun. Being a fun human being, guess what? It's embracing life. It's embracing whatever it is. And that's why I love to tap into the warrior spirit. Because the warrior spirit was what has called me onto my path. I got awoken by a warrior that was in my heart. That can face 
whatever, whoever, doesn't matter. I'm going, I'm going all in. For the rest of my life, I'm going all in. I make commitments to myself. I ain't gonna break them. And I don't care. You know what? No one actually gives a shit. No one really cares. So whatever you're doing right now, and if you're doing it for another person, uh, think again. Make sure it's in alignment to your greater good. Make sure it's in alignment to what you're actually deserving of and what you're wanting. And if it's not, say, hasta la vista. I'm going to go forward in a path, perhaps, that people are going to misunderstand me. Go, oh, I'm misunderstood. I'm so grateful I'm misunderstood. I'm so grateful that I could give a shit about what any other person thinks of me. I don't care. Why would I actually waste my precious energy on a thought or on an emotion that perhaps is triggering? I still get triggers, of course. I still, you know, feel shit. Um, I'm a human being. But the difference is I become aware of it. I own it in my body. And by owning it, I can then choose differently. And that's really the equation, you guys. Just be aware of what's happening inside. S disconnect from the external world. Become more focused. Give more of your attention to what's happening inside. Because when you do that, that is how your external reality will change. When you embody a new version of yourself and you commit to that every day, regardless of what the outside world looks like, it will just take a little bit of time and your external world will change, but it doesn't matter if it does or doesn't, because if you're feeling better, if you're feeling in purpose, if you're feeling like a warrior every day, don't matter. Don't matter what, what comes your way. You're, you're prepared. You're prepared because a commitment that you can actually go all in on, you can't fail. You can't fail. If you're scared of failure, it's because you're not going all in. When you're going all in, when you see your vision, when you believe in it, and you embody the version that's already living in that parallel reality every day, you are aligning to that version. And you have to stop being ignorant, arrogant, and stupid. You have to stop allowing a weak thought. Because listen, you guys, you know what holds people back in this life? It's a thought. It's a thought that they believe is true. And where did this thought come from? Usually from another person, another per person's perception of you. And we hold on to it like it's God's gold. It ain't God's gold. It's the biggest fool's gold of all is other people's thoughts being programmed into you. And that happens as a human being, but it's your job to wake up in this life and move forward. So when I went all in, you guys, I made commitments. I made a commitment. I was going to do a video on YouTube every single day. I was going to show up in my purpose, in my truth, which was my voice as my instrument instead of my body. And I've been doing that. Okay. S that was my first one. Second, I have not missed. I have taken a cold shower every single morning. Every single morning since August 17th, 2023. I haven't missed a day. I was sick and I still took cold showers. There's no excuse. I cut out television, TV, programming, Instagram. I cut all that shit out. I don't drink. I don't smoke. You know what I've been doing? Oh, and I also don't hang out with people. <laughs> yeah. I've been going all in on myself since that date. And I'm not sure when I'm gonna stop. I know I'm not gonna stop. And I'm excited every single day to see what the universe brings my way. And sometimes what the universe brings to me is hurdles, is challenges. And thank God. If you really want to be on the warrior path, you need the uncomfortability. You need the hurdles, the challenges to overcome them. And when you overcome them, that's how you are granted more power within. That's how you remember the power within. So I embrace it all. 
I don't run away from my parts that uh, make me feel like shit still sometimes. I still got old programming that comes up, but I just don't believe in it. I laugh at it. I say thank you for allowing me to be aware of maybe what I'm still holding on to. It's time to rewrite that program. That's how powerful we are. So this could be a sign for you guys to cut out anything that you know is holding you back. Cut out even the version of yourself that you're embodying every day that is attached to the past and embody a new version. Envision it every day. Take control over your life because no one's coming to save you. It's not going to be easy, but it does get easier when you overcome more hurdles and more hurdles just to signify to you that you are capable. And that will bring a level of self-respect, confidence, love, and motivation to keep going. Keep going, you guys. I'm here for you. And I show up, honestly, also to be an example. An example of what I needed this time last year. You know, I didn't see a lot of women talking about the things I talk about. And I needed it. And I'm sure that there's a lot of people right now in the world that just needs truth. That needs to see a human being being a human being. And y'all, I am a human being being a human being every day, okay? And I got some stuff that I'm still trying to overcome. And I don't even need to try to overcome it. It's already overcame. And there's always going to be things, you know, but that's a part of being a human. Turn your own fears into the very energetics that propel you forward and no longer hold you back. Go all in on yourself. Go all in. Cut out anything that's unnecessary. Envision the version of who you know to be. Align to that parallel reality for in the here and now that reality is very real because everything exists in the here and now. Focus your energy into the stream that you will flow down. Don't fight the current of your life. Flow down the river. Direct yourself. Learn to swim in your depth and you will prosper. Doesn't matter what happens. Don't care about judgment. It's, if you care about another person's judgment, it's because you're still judging yourself. Stop judging yourself. Stop it. Turn the new chapter on your story today. You're a new version. I see you as it. I believe in you. You have one job on this planet and it's to be your authentic self. Don't allow another person to hold you back. You are in control. You are empowered. And so it is. I love you guys. And I really do want to see you guys succeed. 2024 i want to see us all win so i'm sending you guys my love my energy and know that is up to you so i will see you in my next video bye